Well, I shall, uh, in a way, act as a kind of host. I'll greet people. I'll top and tail the service. Um, meanwhile, the Archbishop will be at the heart of things, um, uh, overseeing the making of the vows. And of course, Bishop Michael Curry will uh, do the sermon. My impression is that uh, uh, they love one another very much. Uh, they're very committed to each other. Uh, they're very serious about their relationship. And that's why I think uh, they particularly want to see it grounded uh, in a religious ceremony, in a Christian ceremony. So the faith, I the faith is important to them? Oh yes, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, they certainly understand the uh, solemnity and the significance of those vows which are right at the heart of uh, the celebration. But how do you feel about Meghan Markle? How would you, how would you see her? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know her well enough really to comment on that, excepting to say that everything that I've seen so far I find very attractive and likeable. Well, there's obviously going to be an enormous amount of celebration. Uh, I'm sure there'll be great happiness. Uh, there's certainly going to be a huge number of people uh, in Windsor and uh, throughout the world looking in. I hope the thing that it really brings home to people is, as I've said just now, the serious of that seriousness of the moment when they make their vows to each other. And I hope that will remind lots of other people of the vows that they've taken uh, and in a way encourage and strengthen them for the future.